hey, I'm in a turtleneck, like a long sleeve thing in my basement, sweating. But I want all my videos to look alike, so I have to put this silly thing on. If I start dripping sweat, it's okay. How'd you guys do today? August 2015, Algebra 2 Trig Regions. It's over. Hopefully you guys did okay. Not the easiest test in the world, though. Uh, there could have been a couple of uh, F-bombs being thrown out there, like fraction and fun and factoring. Or, <laughs> thank you, state. That was a really hard question. Or, thank you, state. That was a really impossible question. One thing I forgot to get ready, and I'm going to do that while I talk, is my calculator, which is, come on, help me find it. Getting ins T I inspired, I think this is it. All right, so that's it. All right, that'll grow up. Okay, <clears throat> so hopefully you did okay. Oh, you don't need to get Camtasia Studio. That's how I record, by the way. We're going to go over here into OneNote. So we are now going to do Mr. Key. So this, these are the solutions to the first part, problems 1 through 14, on the 2015 August exam. You need to let me know how you did. I mean, close that because I don't want that. Hopefully this thing's okay. If that's not good, we're in trouble. Come on, let's go. See if it works. Oh, that looks so pretty, but it's so crazy small. Window. How about we zoom? Where's zoom? View. Zoom. 200%. Get a little bigger there. Okay. So we'll get back to that. Let's get going. Let's get started. I know you guys want to see and you're anxious to get started. So um, let's see. Everything's not working properly like it was before. It's not a great copy, but it's my copy. So, very quickly, it's not going to be an explanation video because basically Algebra 2 trigs go in, so these tests are kind of meaningless. So this is just for you to see how you did. So very quickly, roots. Roots are where it hits the x-axis. So these are your roots. The answer is choice one. It hits it at negative three, negative one, and two. Moving on, next question one. All right, this is a question about linear relationships, and it said that the linear correlation coefficient turned out to be 0.91. Okay, when the linear correlation gets closer and closer to 1, we say that it has a strong correlation. The closer it is to 1, the stronger it is. So therefore, 0.91 is pretty close to 1, so we'd say that has a strong linear correlation. Ooh, two down, 37 to go. All right, here we go. Let's see. Page width. All right, so in this particular question, um, what I would do is I would just take 16 and store it into X, and I would type this into my graphing calculator as such. Just for those of you that didn't see this, this is actually 16 control var X. Hit enter. Uh, oh, by the way, did I tell you that today's rendition is brought to you by none other than Burger's Mango Coffee? Oh my God! You guys are probably thinking, man, this guy's been working all day and he's drinking coffee and he's all excited. Oh, not that excited. All right, 4x to the 1 half. So we're going to go 4x <clears throat> raised to the 1 divided by 2. Normally, I wouldn't do that. Oh, we got 44x. That's just ugly, ugly, ugly. That would be... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, my gosh. Escape. Uh, delete. Way too much fun. Way too much fun. And then I'm going to do plus x raised to the 0. I could have just put plus 1 because that's all that is. Plus... Uh, x to the negative one fourth. I'm not actually sure why they bothered to put this problem on this test. Uh, negative one divided by four. Hopefully this looks nice. This should be 35 over two, which was, reduces to 17 halves. Wherever my pen is, there it is. Okay, 17 over two. Um, the fourth root of 81 is three. Therefore, these answers are stupid. And if you remember correctly from all of my videos, like for example, x to the one half really me is the square root of x, right? The two always goes in the denominator. So this four should be in the denominator. So the answer is choice one. Now it's one half because, if you can't see this because I decided to draw all over it, um, it turns out that this becomes, well, first of all, it's three and then x to the two fourths. And then y to the 5 fourths. But 2 fourths is just 1 half. Ooh, 4 down. 4 down. Here we go. We're flying. Fly in. Now, for those of you that couldn't remember, this was a calculator question. I mean, you know, you kind of had to know your stuff. Cosecant of 120. 
Well, you type that in your calculator and you get some silly answer. And if you type the number one in, you also get that silly answer. Now, hopefully you know that the sine of 120 is really the square root of three over two. Remember, this is not an instructional video on really how to do these, although I'm gonna try to do it a little bit. Uh, I'll try to help you a little bit. So cosecant is just a reciprocal of this, which is really two over radical three. And to rationalize, you multiply by radical three over radical three. But if you wanted to, you could have just typed this in, got a decimal, typed this in, and get the same decimal. Okay, what's true about this? Well, this is talking about product and sum. So let's talk about sum. Sum is negative B over A, and the product is C over A. Those are the formulas. So uh, the answer is going to have to do with product. The product is negative 12, which is C. This is C, over A, which is 1. So negative 12 over, excuse me, negative 12 over 3 is negative 4, and the product is negative 4. Six down, yay, and I haven't even had to take a sick, sip of my coffee. I'm so excited. Uh, go on, sip of coffee. Now, if you've been watching my videos, and hopefully you're a fan, and hopefully you've subscribed to my videos, there's a donation button on the bottom too. Just saying, you could hit it if you'd like to, especially if you passed. All right, kids, just kidding, sort of. Um, if you remember correctly, anytime I told you uh, you see the words varies inversely, come on, where is it, where is it, where is it? Come on, it's in here somewhere. Inversely proportional, varies inversely, inversely proportional. This is going to be an xy equals xy. As one goes up, the other goes down. So this one says you have a three winners, and they're going to each get $400. Well, what's going to happen if we have eight winners? How much is everybody going to get? Well, we don't know, but it's a whole lot less money. We don't want eight winners. So we'll just take this 300 times 400, divide that by eight, and I believe the answer is 150. Okay, halfway done with this video. Are you guys having fun? Hopefully you did okay. Hopefully you worked hard. Hopefully you challenged yourself. You know what the problem with this one is? You had to remember something that was taught to you by your teacher, if your teacher remembered to teach it to you. And that is the fact that arc cosine is really cosine inverse. So really what you need to just put in your calculator is tangent of cosine inverse of 15 over 17. Yes, I know New York State would like you to do this a really fun way, but pff, who wants to do that? Seriously, it's test day. Come on. I'm just kidding. You should really do this the improper way. Now, if this was a proper instructional uh, video, then I would be showing you how to do this using triangles and all that kind of fun stuff. This is just designed to see if you got the right answer. So tan, in, tan of cosine inverse of 15 over 17. So I got to do 15 divided by 17. And I normally would use the control division, but it makes it nice and easy for me. 0.5333333333. So I got to look for something that's about a half. And this is about a half. There it is. If you put 8 divided by 15 in your calculator, you get, oh, of course, you got to do it the right way using this calculator. Eee, there it is, 0.5, out of 15. How'd you do? Hopefully you did okay. Okay, so these ones, hopefully you did it this way. Hopefully you went over to your graphing calculator. You could fast forward all this funky stuff if you want. Funky co Medina. Mm. Got to go over here. Got to go here. You got to call this X. Now, the problem with this one and the trouble with this one is it had a frequency column, so we'll call it F. Now, I believe it was 0, 2, 4, 6. Don't remember how far we went. Oh, we went, oh man, I lied like a dog. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 5, 7, 4. 2, 5, 7, 4. Hopefully, you type these numbers incorrectly. And 2. So we come over here, and we're going to do a little uh, analysis of this. So we'll go to menu, we'll go to statistics. It's really just one variable statistics. It's going to ask you how many lists you have. You think you have two, but you really only have one. You have one list that's an actual list, and the other one is the frequency, and I called it F. So instead of having a frequency of one, you actually have a frequency list. And we click OK, and it asks for the population. And this one right here is the population standard deviation. So 1.116. So it was the population standard deviation was 1.116. Round that to a 2. Your answer is 1.12. Woo! 9. Hope you're 9 for 9. That would be awesome. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. 10, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 
6, 40, 10. Now, there's a difference of 30 here. There's a difference of 30, and I have to make one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps. So if I have to make five steps and the difference is 30, that means each of them has to be six. So this would be 16. This would be 22. Brain fart. Ooh, must need some coffee from Brugger's Bagel because it makes me oh so smart. Okay. Or bald. I think I'm getting balder. I think that's to do with the students that I had this summer school. I taught summer school this year. I haven't taught summer school in so long. Those poor kids had to deal with me four hours a day. You guys rocked it, though. I hope you guys kick butt on this test. Some of you did really, really well. Some of you not so well. So this is an arithmetic sequence. So we're going to do a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the difference times n minus 1. And they want to know about a sub 20. Now, you could just keep adding, 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 and pray like heck that you actually get it right or you can do it the right way and you can put it in 10 plus 6 which is the difference times 20 minus 1 and I believe if you do that you get 124 okay we're 10 down hopefully you're 10 for 10 they weren't so bad yet they get much more difficult thank you the state I call you the state because you're the pain in the neck. The only hard part about this problem was this thing right here, compounded quarterly. Now, if you don't know there are four quarters in a dollar or four quarters in a football game or four quarters in a basketball game, quarters. It's a quarter. It's four. You should know that. So, therefore, you just have to type into your calculator 50. One plus. Now, the other thing that's hard about this one is this rate. You have to put this rate in right. Point zero three. 2, 5. Yeah, it's less than 10%, so it's going to be 0 0.03, not just 0 0.3. That's 30%. And, sorry about the burp, and when I burp, it's probably because I drank some Brugger's coffee. Oh, come on, Brugger's. I've made so many commercials with your cup and my delicious face. My Your delicious coffee and my... Never mind. Just pay me some money. I'm just kidding, kids. I would like to have a new computer someday. Uh, 4 times 12. It's compounded quarterly, it's n's 4, and the time they said was 12. So if you type this in, you get, believe it or not, 73.73. Okay, we're almost done with video one, kids. Tallahassee? Where in the world is Tallahassee? So what you have to do is you have to put 11 factorial into your calculator. Now, I have to go through and look for the duplicates. Well, the duplicates are, there are three A's. 1A, 2A, 3As. So that's 3 factorial for the A's. There are 2 L's. 2 factorial for the L's. There are 2 S's. 1, 2. 2 factorial for the S's. And there are 2 E's. 2 factorial for the E's. And if I type this into my calculator, lo and behold, I get my salary from last year, which was $831,000. Oh my God. I'm so rich. <laughs> It's been a long day. I'm going to blame those Kendall girls for this behavior. I, I don't know about those Kendall girls. No, they were nice kids. I'm just kidding, Blondie and Brunetti. Hopefully you guys kick butt on this test. I know I look around. Some of your problem answers were pretty good. Okay, we got a pizza. Oh, man, you get a pizza problem in the middle of the afternoon, you get hungry. There are nine toppings, and we're going to choose... I don't know how many we're choosing. Three. We're going to choose three. So you come over to your calculator and say, look, calculator, I need your help. I want menu five, three. We're going to combinations. I've got nine toppings, and I want to choose three. Boom, 84 different ways. Why did I choose C? Because it doesn't matter how you put the toppings on. When I'm eating my delicious pizza from Pontillo's Pizza, oh, look, another sponsor, Pontillo's Pizza, and it's got pepperoni and sausage and black olives. I don't know. Mm, doesn't matter if I eat pepperoni, sausage, black olives, or black olives, sausage, or pepperoni. Or something. They're all on the pizza, and it tastes delicious. So the answer is 84. So we use C. Ah, uh, C. Okay. Now, this one you could have worked backwards on, or you could have just simply factored it. It's really easy factoring. So you're going to put 2 sine theta, or x, 
and sine x. There's only one way to multiply to 1. It's negative 1, so we're going to put a 1 and a 1, and they got to add up the positive 1. So this one has to be the positive, and this one has to be the negative. Not really going to get into it too much, but that's positive 2 sine x, and that's negative 1 sine x, and that adds up to positive 1 sine x. So you end up with sine x equals a half, and you end up with sine x equals negative 1. Well, this happens. It happens. Remember, draw your picture. At sine x equals at 270. So if it didn't have 270 in it, it can't be an answer. All three of them have 270. And then we got to deal with this half. Well, sine x equals a half when x is equal to 30 degrees, but we also have to get the angle in the second quadrant, and that would be 150. The answer is 2. And guys, mm, just like that, I'm done with part one of August 2015. Ooh, hit the subscribe button. I need more subscribers. I'm like at 1300 and something. Don't cancel my subscriptions. If I helped you out, stay subscri subscribed. It makes me look good on YouTube. It sure the heck ate this ugly mug that's made me look good. Thanks. Check back. Check the other video. It'll be up in a few minutes or it might be up already. Good luck, kids. Hope you did well. Anybody get 100 and you use my videos and you got 100 during summer school, you go to like freaking the Hall of Crazy Fame. All right, man. All right, bye. I don't even know what Hall of Crazy Frame equals means. It's just been a long day.